Welcome back everybody. We are on to the next portion of this little project. We are making a journal slash lap book from a, a mailer. And so now we've got all our little flips and things and I just want to now start working on this back portion here. So I've already pre-cut this because um, we want to have All of our little tucks will go under that before we adhere that down, but I want to get started on this part. And I went ahead and I've cut, just out of some coordinating paper, I've got a four and a quarter by six piece cut here, and then this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I'm thinking what I would like to do is take this to the machine and get a nice stitch around the uh, bottom paper and then I want to run a stitch maybe a zigzag along these and then we will come back and finish this off so that we've got a nice couple of pockets there and then we will need to do something about this envelope as well so that's what we're gonna um, hope to achieve in this segment so I'm going to take this to the machine, guys, and get a couple stitches on this, and then get back, and we'll start on this uh, window envelope. Okay, guys, we have got this stitched down now, so that we've got a pretty big pocket here, and then we've got this smaller one here. So now I've just taken one of the little definition bits of ephemera. And we're going to put that on the top there and just finish this off at this point. Now, as I said, at the end I'll start coming back in with some laces and snippets and buttons and things, but I generally try to leave those to the end. Okay, so that's how that's looking. So we've only got one more element, and that's this one. I want to finish, and then we can get all of these put behind this, and um, and this front cover is going to be done. This is this is a much more in-depth project than I uh, thought it was going to be, but I know a lot of you have said that that's that's actually what you enjoy, so. Hopefully this is um, this is going to be a project that appeals to you guys. All right, so I've just closed that envelope, and I'm just going to run a trim off this little bit here, so that we've got an opening, and we're going to do a side uh, journal card. So this one I'm going to make it six and a half by four. I'm not going to be stitching on this one, so I know that that measurement's going to be fine. But if you do add a stitch, then it's I always advise that you uh, re-measure after you've done that. Um, let's see here. Where's my glue? I'm always looking for my glue, aren't I? Oh dear. Here we go. So I'm just going to get a little bit of glue down here, and then I, I'm going to go ahead and line the inside of that so we don't see that blue showing through. I don't want to look at that. So let me get um, a piece of paper for the background here cut.
And this is just some leftovers, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut that. So we're having some really nice weather here. The last two days have, um, have been clear with some sunshine, so that's been really nice. Colder temperatures at night, but I love it. I love seeing the blue skies again. It's um, very needed during these periods, I think, to keep people's uh, spirits spirits up during all of this, so that's been nice. Um, still working around, trying to get packed, get the house in order, and all of that kind of stuff that goes along with making a move. And um, I spoke with my daughter uh, last night, and she's doing much better, so thank you guys for your prayers. She's still not managed to get in um, to her neurologist, but that appointment, I believe, is next week now. So, hopefully, she'll get some answers. Okay, so I've got that. Um, let's do a nice... Something on here. I'm just going to pull from <clears throat> the leftover scraps and things and see if we can get something. Huh. Sorry guys, I'm just looking for my stamp. Ah, oh, here it is. I'm shifting stuff around and now I've misplaced so much. I'm going to go ahead and stamp a little bit of background onto this envelope. Um, because I won't cover it completely. So let me just get a little bit of ink on here. a little bit, just to tone the white down a bit. Here we go. Get it together here in a minute. And these are just leftover um, bits and pieces, and I just think I want to collage some of these pieces on here.
I like how that's come out. Now on the back, I think I discussed earlier, I'm going to try to put a lined paper. So we're going to need four and an eighth by six and three quarter. Let me see if I've got lined. Yeah, there's a little bit of leftover, so I'm going to do that. Make sure I cut that right. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so when when this flips over, there's a nice little writing space there now. So now we just need to get our card cut and do something with that. So She doesn't. I was thinking she maybe she does have some tabs. Ah, she does. She's got some tabs here in this kit, so I think well, then that pink one would be pretty. That would stand out really pretty on that. So let me. All right, we'll come back to that. So let's get our card done here. Guys, I've got such a mess in here, um, and I will share with you in a bit the reason I've got a particularly bad mess today is um, this video would have been up yesterday, but I got sidetracked on another project, and so I will give you a sneak peek at the end of this if I don't forget. <laughs> um, because I am going to add I'm going to be adding another tier to Patreon and this is going to be one of the projects um, and I haven't come up with the name yet. I'll have to think that through. But it's going to be a $5 a month tier. And with that, 
you will get um, exclusive content, but you will also get a um, entry into a give, you know, some random giveaways. Um, for little projects, ephemera packs, and you know, things that we've made. So I will go into more detail on that in the next um, few days. I'm probably going to um, do a video explaining a bit more about that. Okay, so I'm not just something different. I don't know, I might add something more to it. I'm getting sidetracked, aren't I? Okay, let's get back to this journal card going to put, I like the pink one because we don't have a lot of pink in here. Let's see how I'm doing on time. Okay, we're all right for the moment. It's amazing. <laughs> When you look back at how long it actually takes you to do each element, because when you're doing a journal, you tend to forget, don't you, that, you know, I don't keep up with how long um, it takes me to do a journal. I have a rough idea, but I have to say, this has really shown me how much time it does take, because each of these little things... Some of them can be an hour, maybe even longer um, for each little element. And then you think when you're putting that into, you know, a hundred page journal and wow, it's just, it's amazing. But you, you just tend to forget how much time you're devoting to it, but I do love it. I do enjoy it, and these pro pro projects were particularly because um, it's more about the elements than the journal itself, and that I just love anything that's interactive and flipping and little things to pull out and explore. That just that is totally me. All right, so I don't know what we're going to do here on this one. Let's see what kind of papers maybe I'll. This is pretty. That's an off cut. I kind of like the idea of using that. Alright, so this is some of the washi. I think I'm going to run a strip of that along there as well. Stop it and start again here in a minute, guys. Because, yeah, I got quite a lot I want to get done. And this other project is not complete. I'm going to try to finish it off today as well, but I can give you an idea.
to see <clears throat> if I can find another image if I want to do something else in there. This is going to be cute. I love the colors in this. It's got the soft, like a mint green, and then this blush pink is so pretty. So pretty. Alright, let's just have a quick look at how this is going to... doesn't need it in all fairness. I'm not going to worry about it. That doesn't need that. I'll save that for maybe I'll put it down there. And then we can get this section. I think it's ready to come together, guys. How exciting. This is the part, it's just, you love it when you start seeing everything coming together. Okay, so let me stop, I'll come back and we will finish uh, this front up and I'll share with you my um, next project. Okay guys, let me zoom this out a bit and here are <coughs> the elements we've got. So I'm going to take these out and we're going to start um, with this one first. Um, and I'm just going to get some glue. And then the next one is going to be this upper uh, right here. I know when I first uh, started out, it was so overwhelming when you would see projects and you're trying to, you know, if somebody's done a tutorial that's different, it, um, but if you're trying to figure out something in your head when you've seen it and you think, oh, I love that idea, it used to be so overwhelming. Um, but when you break these things down, it's um, much easier to tackle because you're <clears throat> you're just making several elements and then combining them and you just end up with these really interesting interactive things to put into your journal. But it can be so intimidating when you're first starting um, first starting out and you're not sure. You're thinking, oh gosh, how do you do that? But just slow down and uh, break it down into individual elements and it, it, it's much, much easier to think about it in those terms. So I'm hoping for some of you, you know, new folks that this is going to simplify it for you. Because I know we've got a lot of new people getting into this with the lockdown and uh, that's great because it's it's just it's so exciting to me to share the love of crafting because it's I just can't even imagine not creating I, I love it so much okay so there we go it's all now together and now um, I can glue this whole section in And 
then I will leave this to dry really well and then I'll, I'll come back and if it looks like there's a few corners that I need to reinforce then I'll do that. Lining that up, make sure you got it straight with your score line over here. Okay, and as you can see, that's that's filled up, and we're still not done adding things because we've got this pocket, we've got things we're going to be bulking this up with, and um, this is going to have items added to it. We've still got to add some components here. Um, this one's fine, but we've got to get some journal cards. So see, this is all going to fill that um, spine out, and that's why I wanted to allow that extra bit of space because now that this is uh, closed, that's. That's you can see that's filling out. Actually, let me just see, guys. I see. I need to slide this over slightly. Okay, so there she is. We've got that section done. And so um, the next part is, because we're not doing, I'm not planning to do anything with this, is just keep that purely to journal in. <clears throat> so this is the next section we'll start on, and uh, hopefully I can do that one a little bit quicker. I don't know if I will or not, you know. It takes, it takes, as long as it takes, doesn't it? <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that that is um, making sense to you. Oh, yeah, we've still got this. I have that on the front, so that'll be a nice bit of writing space. And we'll adhere that, and then that one's going to be done. Okay, so uh, my next tier, as I said, I haven't... Um, thought about it enough to give it a name, but it's going to be a $5 commitment each month. Um, and this is one of the projects that um, I'm going to be doing with the $5 level. So the why would you want to increase from five, from three to five? Um, I have done some research around and I've been checking out a few other um, channels and things and I I'm very happy with the content that I'm bringing to, to you guys and from the feedback I'm getting I think you guys are as well the the difference between three and five really are going to be there's going to be a f some exclusive tutorials and this will be one um, that are going to be for the five and up level um, but as I said I'm going to do random giveaways and you would be included in that um, probably I mean I've done a lot of giveaways already I, I don't want to say how many but at least four times a year and included in that, you know, because most of you are international for me, so I've got the cost of the shipping. Um, so that $5 a month commitment is helping go towards the cost of me shipping the item to you. Um, and it's just, just another um, fun way for you to be involved in <clears throat> some giveaways. And this is an example of a giveaway that I'm going to give because to ship something like this is going to cost me about $15. Uh, because this won't go in just an envelope. I'm going to have to send it as a small package. So that's going to be anywhere from $15 to $20. Um, 
Um, so it's just that's that will be the primary difference is that you are going to be uh, entered into a giveaway at least four times a year and uh, to be honest I've done more than that with my other levels um, so these are the sort of things and then like I said the whole t the tutorial on how to create that I'm going to be uh, doing for that tier as well I haven't got the tutorial done yet because I've only just completed the project and this is out of a file folder so this is another idea of how you can use file folders um, but you don't have to because I know some ladies don't have access at, to file folders so um, you could easily tweak this and, and create it with cardstock. You're just going to have to be, you know, you're going to have to create some hinges so that you can join those two pieces versus um, a file folder where you've got it all in one con con um, continuous piece. So I'm, I'm going to be doing a, a video uh, that will show this once I've got it complete. I don't want to show it just yet, but that's just an idea, guys. Um, okay, so that's where we are with this. Um, I hope you're enjoying it. I appreciate all the comments you know, that you leave. And um, as I said, if there's anything you want to see me do in this, let me know, guys, because we're nearing the end. Uh, so take care. I'll be back soon. Bye.